How's it going everybody? Tatudoi here with a very exciting Dragon Ball Fighters update video because not even a month after receiving Janemba, we have already gotten new information about the next Dragon Ball Fighters DLC character, Gogeta Blue. This info comes to us in the form of this month's leaked copy of V-Jump. Uh, it goes over some of Gogeta's special moves, uh, his key blast, and what we can expect to see from the character. The only downside to getting these translations so early on is that as of right now, we don't actually have the physical Shonen Jump page to look at, but if any of those images get leaked as I'm editing slash uploading the video, I'll make sure to throw those images on screen whenever it correlates to something I'm talking about. If it really does take around three to five days for those images to come out, I'll make sure to update that down below in the pinned comment section. So if they're out there, you should be able to see it down below. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the information that has now been confirmed for Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, starting off with the character's intro. Now, like many expected and were kind of hoping for, the intro for Gogeta will feature Goku and Vegeta performing the fusion dance, and then Gogeta showing Showing up and saying a one-liner very similar to Vegito Blue's intro where it depicts Goku and Vegeta fusing with Portara, but something about them using the fusion dance just makes it a little more exciting for me. One of my favorite intros in Fighters right now has to go to Gotenks, even though I don't play the character at all, the intro is just really top-notch. Moving on from the intro, we actually have something that affects gameplay, and that is the way his basic key blast works. It says here in the translation that his basic key blast will become either a Kamehameha or a Gallic Gun. Now, I'm very interested in what this means, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, this is the one thing that I would really want to see the images for, because by basic key blast, I assume they mean just when you hold down the special button. Think of the way Super Saiyan Goku or Super Saiyan Vegeta fires off key blast. So this very well could be saying that Gogeta has access to a one button beam, or at least one that turns into a beam, maybe after a few key blasts. I don't really know. This is definitely the one piece of information that is super crucial though. Uh, in this very short list of information we got this month. After that, the last piece of news for Gogeta basically confirms what his level three is going to be. It says his level three super meteor ability is going to be that ability that was able to stop Broly in the movie. Interestingly enough, in the Advent Hubs reporting, they took this to mean Stardust Breaker, uh, but I'm going to assume they meant that uh, beam of, I don't even know if it has a name. That might be why they used that move, but basically the move they showed off in the trailer where he punched Broly, made contact with him, and basically did a key explosion into his Kamehameha. Of course, it could also be referring to the giant Kamehameha he used right before Broly got transported away with the Dragon Balls. It really is unclear, especially because the trailer we got for Gogeta initially showed him performing that move and then smoothly transitioned into the Kamehameha leading me to believe it might be a level five and it still could be. But as of right now, these translations definitely make it sound more like that Kamehameha might be just a level three. And then maybe the explosion is just a really cool looking level one. I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts on that down below in the comments. What do you want Gogeta's level three to be? Unfortunately, that is where the Gogeta news for this month stops. It was a very small portion of news, but I'm just surprised we got anything at all. Let's try not to forget that we waited three whole months with nothing for Janemba, not even a small cliff note in a V jump. So getting one directly after Janemba's release, that's pretty crazy. This also leads me to believe that while we didn't get a release date for Gogeta this month, we very likely could see a release date in the next month's V-Jump, uh, which would be insanely fast turnaround. Just because this seems like the best time to do so, right now, my thoughts on Dragon Ball Fighter Season 2 is kind of like, uh, you know, they probably want to get everything done before the end of the year so that they could go into the World Tour Finals and do whatever they're going to do there. That means they have around four months to release both Gogeta and Broly. Uh, so I don't know, guys, we might be looking at a fast turnaround schedule now. Uh, so expect news to be coming every month. Uh, finally, <laughs> we had a long downtime there, but we're finally turning around to more news. One more thing I did want to talk about, even though I usually keep these fighters news update videos exclusive to, well, fighters. Uh, I did want to talk a little bit about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I know, I know. Hear me out, though. Uh, so apparently you'll be able to play as Teen Gohan and Trunks in the Cell Saga. Yada, yada. 17 is going to make an appearance. Uh, there's going to be some original content with Gohan and 16. But... There's also going to be a mini game involving Goku and Piccolo driving. So I really just wanted to say that's uh, it's looking like a day one buy for me. <laughs> no, but really, I am super excited that there is a Goku and Piccolo driving test game. That is that's actually crazy. I love that so much. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the V jump coverage this month. Like I said before, Check the pinned comment down below if you want to see any images if they weren't on screen already. Also, while you're down there, make sure to let me know what your thoughts are on Gogeta, how fast we got this news, all that stuff. If you like this video and you're excited about Gogeta Blue, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Dragon Ball Fighters and other fighting game content. I also have some more videos on your screen right now, so make sure to give those a watch if any of them catch your eye. I have been Dr. Doya. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.